ourselves right back to the rovers and where are we up to next? Well, next it's the turn of Newfoundland and Labrador, which is the easternmost province of Canada. This year they send us 27-year-old Tammy Snook, who is a commerce graduate from Memorial University. She's now pursuing a career as a multidisciplinary consultant. Newfoundland and Labrador, Tammy Snook! Oh my goodness, my best friend Bridget Abbott is the 2018 Newfoundland Labrador Rose of Chile. Okay. Uh, and she has been my best friend for over half my life. And when I saw her go on tour back in 2018, I've been watching the Rose for several years. But then when I saw her side of it and behind the scenes, there's so much more to it than just the television. There's all behind the scenes with the tour. And I was like, I need to be involved. I was and so deeply connected. Are. Here I am. You talk about Newfoundland. Like, we are so connected. We are. Ireland and Newfoundland. Literally by a, a transatlantic cable. Yes. Oh my gosh, there was a biography out about it recently. So you are St. John's? I am. And there is a big Irish community there. There is. It's coming to Ireland, I honestly felt like a home away from home. And my Irish roots sent back five generations. And as an international rose, I'm deeply honored that I'm so deeply connected to my Irish roots so far down the line. It's amazing. Um, St. John's is a great place. Um, is it, am I right in saying they have more pubs per square meter than anywhere else in Canada? They do. Everybody loves George Street. <laughs> you know. I know there's plenty of people watching there. So what are you doing in Newfoundland? Because I know you've just set up your new business. I am. Congratulations, so you're in a startup. I am. Thank you so much. So I recently quit my job and I said, you know what, I'm going to take the plunge. And I have a startup called Passport Harbor Strategies Incorporated. And my business partner, Jennifer Leywitz and I, we decided let's be the independent, brilliant women that we are and start our own business where we help Indigenous people across all of Canada and support their goals. She is a, a Cree woman herself and my Western ideology. So we combine the two different worldviews to come together to support Indigenous people in the modern world that we've created together. Amazing. And in terms of um, where the Indigenous people are in Canada, is the representation good? The representation is amazing. We have Indigenous peoples that stem from First Nations, Inuit, Métis, Inu. They're all across Canada and we do everything that we can to support them and make sure that their voice is equally heard as much as everybody else's. I mean, you're such an articulate girl, Tammy. Like, you are, you're so well able to speak. You're so well able to represent women. And anytime, you know, anytime I see you guys out and about on the bus and on tour, you are just like holding it together. You're making sure everybody is okay. You're kind of mother figure as well. Uh, people call me mom. <laughs> but you haven't, it hasn't always been that easy for you. And Deirdre spoke so eloquently about mental health and how important it is to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You had your own issues as well. I did. I very much had my own struggles. And 15-year-old Tammy did not think that she would be here on this stage today, let alone on this earth. Um, I did struggle with mental health and I did attempt to take my own life at the age of 15, but very grateful to my mother, Natasha, who's in the audience here, for helping me stay afloat during that really rough time. She, she literally, as you said, saved your life and, and without her, her and your dad, Peter, you speak so beautifully and so lovingly about them and it was really important that they were here for you this evening wasn't it most definitely they traveled all this way and had a tour of their own they've been all across ireland um but i'm very grateful for them and, and their support and all my highs and all my lows my parents have been there through thick and thin through every volleyball tournament bowling tournament on any stage that i've been on i'm so grateful for them and they truly shown me the definition of grit and resilience and what it means to be an entrepreneur my dad has been a fisherman for his entire life and as of next year fishing will have been in my family for over 200 years it's incredible amazing so has the rose of tralee being everything you thought like i mean was it what you were expecting it's been everything i've dreamed of and more i'm so grateful that my entire rose committee back in newfoundland labrador is all former roses and one of them's actually here this evening the 2015 rose and they try your best they try their best to explain it to you but honestly you don't you don't fully understand until you're here and in the present moment and now i've walked away with 31 brand new best friends mm -hmm. from across the world that i cannot wait to go travel and meet all of them in mm -hmm. their hometowns 
And I mean, this is the thing, you know, when people say to me, what, like, you know, what, what is it about the Rose Tralee? And hanging out with you girls for the week, it's exactly that. It's that connection. It's being able to travel. It's expanding your network. And you as a businesswoman, you know how important that is. Networking. <laughs> <laughs> and you do it so well. Um, Thank you. What has been your favorite thing on the whole tour? Oh, my favorite thing on the whole tour would definitely have to be the parade. I felt like a Disney princess. I've been to Disney World and I've always wondered what those women felt like up on the parades and I truly felt it last night. I'd love it. It's been amazing seeing all the crowd and the people and seeing all the little children along the side of the street. I take a moment, I do this at them and they just, their whole face would light up and you knew then that you hit a spark within them and that's the whole reason that we're here because I don't ever do anything for myself and I do it for the seven generations that are coming before me and that deeply stems to my Irish culture as well in that it's been five generations and yeah. it's still very instilled within me so everything that I do I'm always thinking well how is this going to impact me in five years how is it going to impact my family in five years incredible it has been such a pleasure to get to know you all be in a short space of time ladies and gentlemen give it up for our new fan Dan and Labrador Rose Thank you so much. well done Are you ready, Kilkenny? It's time for the...